Alright, here we are from godasageek.com, bringing you another grid vid. Last one was a bit incomplete, so we're going to bring you a new one today, and we've got a lovely assistant to help us. So as you can see, we've got the basic grid up here. We've got two people in the current party, so only two people are showing. We can go grid, slash grid config, really quick. And we're going to go to uh, layout, advanced. going to hide the tab, as we normally do. Texture, I don't like having the texture, you can change it to whatever you want, but none is good. And then we've got that there, which is nice. And then we've got status, health. And we need to invert the bar for the frame. So we're going to invert bar color, so we've got lovely bright colors in our grid now, which is good. And then we're going to show you how to add buffs and so on. So let's go to statuses, status. Auras, that's where you're going to find your buffs, and you've got your life blooms, your power word shields, and so on. But you know, there's a few stuff missing, so we're going to add our own one. So go to auras at the top of there, click that one, and we're going to add a buff today. So we're going to add sacred shield as we did last time, and we're going to add that. And there you can see sacred shield, it's a buff. There it is. We open it up. I'm going to change it to a nice blue, and there we have it. Lots of options here to show off mine, show off missing, range filter, show duration. We don't need any of that. We're now going to go up to frame and we're going to make it our bottom right, no, top right, sorry, we're going to top right. And you can see debuffs are here already. We're going to take our debuffs down. You can leave them there if you want and make it a bottom left if you want. Because anything at bottom left is incoming heals and we don't really need that. So it's up to you where you want to put it. And we're going to find our buff, Sacred Shield, and if I spelt it correctly, it should work. So I'm going to put a Sacred Shield on Louise. And we see a little blue icon in the bottom hand corner there, which is really nice. Um, during fights, you're going to get debuffs. Um, I'm not going to run out and get a debuff just to show you. So I'm actually going to go up and make my Sacred Shield an icon, because we normally have our debuffs as icons, so we can dispel them easily. So we're going to go to center icon and we're going to click sacred shield and there you can see sacred shield is coming up on the center icon. Now the reason we have this for debuffs is so you can see what the debuff is. So when a debuff goes up on a raid member or a party member by seeing the little icon down there you can see um, you can actually see what it is so you know what you're dispelling so especially for arena and so on if you're dispelling unstable affliction you can see the little icon. Um, and of course you can make the grid um, frame bigger for going grid config and making the frame bigger which is really easy. I'm not going to show you how to do that. We're going to look at power word shield. So Louise can you put power word shield on me? And you can see I've got a lovely power word shield buff. However I've got this horrible weakened soul debuff which means another power word shield can't be put on me until weakened soul is off. So we're going to go into our grid config. We're going to go to auras. We're going to add a new debuff. And weakened soul. I hope I spelled that right. Can you put you can't, can you put another bubble on me please? Yeah, I spelled it wrong. There we have weakened soul, we're going to add that. And we're going to add it to our center icon. So that's a debuff, weakened soul. And put the bubble on me again, please. And there you can see weakened soul coming up as a big debuff in the middle. That's not a dispellable debuff, so I don't really recommend having it as your middle picture. So, this is what I do when I heal on the priest. I've actually got this set up on a priest character, and I actually put it in the bottom right corner. Where's bottom right? There we go. And I put debuff, weakened soul. And I never have it as center icon. I'm just showing you the center icon just so you can have a look. Alright, put the shield buff on me again, please. There you go, a little grey icon in the bottom hand corner. You can make these icons a little bit bigger. Let's see if we can do that. Let's go frame, advanced, icon border size, icon size. 
corner size. There you go. All right, put another. Oh, I'll put a sacred shield on myself or on you. All right, you can see that the uh, blue icon is much bigger now. So it's stick a weakened soul on me. Oh, a shield to give me a weakened soul. There you go. The grey icon is much bigger now because I've made it big. Obviously, on this slide bar, make it as big or as small as you want. Um, I believe you can also make the icon size bigger or smaller, and obviously you can make the frames bigger or smaller to suit your needs. Um, so that helps you out. Now we're going to go fight some mobs, and I'm going to show you you a special paladin way of taunting, or it's the way I taunt as a paladin. I'm going to move this out of the way. We're going to go fly to some mobs. All right, Luis, you want to lead the way? Let's go to find some mobs, and you can start aggroing them, and I can use my righteous defense. I'm just going to show you how to set up your aggro alert. Um, I basically set it all to red. And that way you can see who's actually tanking. It gets a bit confusing. You can change the colours um, if you wish. But it, it generally doesn't work out. You want to see red dots on people who have the threat. You can maybe change the high threat colour to yellow. So you can see who has high threat before they actually pull threat. So we've got the threat sorted out, which is down here in status. Um, so we close that and go back up to our frame, and we're going to put it in is it the bottom right corner. Yeah, it's already there. Aggro alert. So whoever has threat has has it in the bottom right corner. All right. So once you sort out your threat on grid, you can actually see who's got threat. So Louise is going to go over there, or I'm going to go over there and aggro a target, and then she's going to DPS it to take the threat off me. Alright, so you can see I've got the red dot there, which means I have the aggro at the moment. I'm doing nothing. I'm being a pretty bad tank at the moment. And you see Louise has pulled threat, and now she has the red dot. Now I've got a nice little mouse over macro, which when I mouse over and use it, it will taunt off her. Righteous defense. And there you go. And I pull the threat back. Now this is great to you. Sometimes you can't target every mob. Um, so you just want to see who's got the threat and you just taunt off them. I've got a mouse over macro here which is my righteous defense macro. Um, mouse over macro is really easy to just, just google mouse over macro or uh, I'll, I'll include it in the comments so you can just copy that into yours. So yeah that's for paladin tanks.